In 2004, Lori Marshall started teaching at Helen S. Faison Arts Academy. She and her students made several extraordinary art projects in the spirit of unity and peace. The Wheel of Feelings was made to help the 64th graders understand that all people have a wide range of feelings, and every person has the freedom to choose how to act on those feelings. The painting spent two weeks at Allegheny County Jail, where inmates wrote about their reaction to it. The students knew that the painting was going to the jail, where many have incarcerated relatives. Part of the purpose of the project was to share the hope of the children with those behind bars as well as to use the art to empower students with family members in jail. These are the prisoners' responses. When you look at this painting, what do you see? Memories of my past. Pain, love, and unity. Little kids with harsh memories. Circles and triangles little kids happy and joyful. When you look at this painting, what do you feel? A bond with the kids. Sad at heart because I miss people too. Good that people care about these kids. Happy. Sad. Pain. Caring. Empathy. Kids loving others. Good that kids are drawing about their feelings. When you look at this painting, what do you smell? Air, flowers, animals, my mom's perfume, hope in the air, river water, deadly gases, candles burning. When you look at this painting, what do you think about the situation I'm in, about my family and me down here? that it's good that the kids took the time to do something like this for peace. About the kids who made it, my dad, people, feelings, sadness, and the hard work that went into making the painting. Message to the students. I also chose to talk about my feelings and past instead of keeping them inside, even though I didn't want to at first. It really helps to let people know how you feel. I can relate to all the things on this board. I think you all did a good job on the painting. I know how it feels to lose someone you love. When my father came home, I had the times of my life. Just remember, it can't be dark forever. Stay safe. The Wheel of Feelings became part of a showing of art from Helen S. Faison Arts Academy in Bolinas, California, after Lori moved to the West Coast. The gallery was nestled in an area with a lot of wildlife and open space. Each singing tree is made up of hundreds of pieces which create a 16-foot mural of a large tree on the earth floating in space. The idea began in 1999 when Laurie was working on a painting with children at Hillsboro Elementary School in Virginia. The whole school helped make the painting, and when it was done, second grader Meredith said, I wish the whole world could see our painting, and then the whole world would be happy. And then she asked, what if the whole world made a painting together? Lori decided that this was a great idea. When I went and presented the idea to the kids, I told them that each one of them had an important part to do on the singing tree, which is to make their own statement about what they loved on this earth. And uh, one of the students in second grade Raekwon raised his hand and said, Why am I important again? And I said, Because there's no one else that has your imagination and your ideas.
Kate Sarity's novel, The Singing Tree, was one of the inspirations for the project. The following is a quote from the book. During a long and terrible night in the middle of a battle, soldiers crawled for hours on their bellies in the mud to escape the enemy. Everything in their path had been destroyed by the shells, bullets, bombs, and violence of war. They didn't come across any evidence of life. Not a person, a house, a squirrel, a bird, a tree, a bush. When the dawn came, they saw that one tree was still alive. Birds from hundreds of miles away, who don't normally come together, were in the tree, singing. Our earth is the singing tree of the solar system. There is no life around us for millions of miles, and we can choose either to fight each other or to make something beautiful together like the birds did. Children from Urabamba, Peru contributed to the ginkgo singing tree. The people tree was created by students in Gujarat, India. Each leaf of the people tree is in the shape of a heart. Pieces also went to Sierra Leone and their leaves reflected the impact of the war on their community. A student at Helen S. Faison made his leaf on the cherry tree in response to these images from Sierra Leone. Many of the other children made their leaves about tough experiences of their lives in Pittsburgh. Elders from St. Mary's Senior Center in San Francisco contributed to the cherry singing tree with their words and artwork. When the tree was brought to Bellinas, Lori returned to St. Mary's to show the elders the finished tree. Lori wanted her students to hear the Chinese and Spanish spoken at the center, so the visit was recorded. So it's being shown uh, at a place uh, in Bolinas. Bolinas. These are the children who helped to make the, um, the parts of the singing tree. Uh -huh. There they are at work. Ellos son los niños que ayudan a cantar el, el, el canto para del, del árbol. And um, the final one will, will be on display in their school. Y el final, el último, cuando ya está todo, lo han enseñado en todas partes, al final va a ir a la escuela de ellos en Pittsburgh. Many singing trees have been made since the project began, and the forest continues to grow. I decided to paint the fourth graders that I had worked with, who are now fifth graders, to paint each one um, as an angel and as uh, somebody with a vision of their future. And the year before I had made uh, paintings with the kids on a dream of what they wanted to do when they grew up. And I incorporated their artwork into those, um, the background of their paintings. Mm -hmm. So I'm 
making 44 12 inch by 12 inch um, diamonds of these kids and as I said in my artist statement Marcel Duchamp said that all art is is a finger that points and says this is important and what I'm saying is that children are important and these particular children are unique and precious and many of them are at terrible risk and just as a parent is only as happy as their unhappiest child a society is only as happy as their unhappiest children and I want people to look and pay attention mm -hmm. to these kids. Sixth graders came to Commonweal Gallery and wrote responses to the artwork from the students in Pittsburgh and Laurie's Angel portraits. Lem wrote, I like the painting of Eugene because when I grow up I want to be a famous basketball player in the WNBA. I like the painting because I can relate to Eugene very much. I'm a good basketball player and play all the time. I like to hear other people's dreams. These kids' dreams inspire me very much. The story of Tyrin losing his cousin is sad. I don't think my class has experienced something like that happening to them. The paintings inspire me to be an artist, even though I am a very bad drawer. I like that every picture has its own personality, and I hope all of their dreams come true. Sam wrote, When I grow down, I want to either be a comic or a cartoonist. Like if I was in the funnies and all the other kids like Kimberly, Fantasia, Shyla, Deasia, and Corey would be drawing in the funnies too. Savannah wrote, You all have really good dreams. I hope you can make your dreams come true. I'm really sorry that someone shot a bullet through your school window. And finally, Georgia said, When I look at the singing tree and the art from Pittsburgh, it's amazing to me that all of the people around the world haven't eaten, seen, touched, smelled, and heard everything that I have. People are different and go through hard times I don't know about. My dream is to become an artist and go as far as I can. I like hearing what other people's dreams are because it makes my dream stronger. The Wall of Care mural came from an idea Laurie had to create a vision of the world outside Helen S. Faison Arts Academy that was what the students dreamed it could be. Yeah,